Hi everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. On our prayer request, uh, Bente has an unspoken request. And pray for Twyla, a real estate agent, uh, for financial problems. Many people have canceled buying houses. And Rebecca Brer has been exposed to COVID. Pray that she doesn't get it. Diane would like prayer for Texas to maintain their power grid. Amy's grandmother is healing so far. She had her stitches taken out. Anna Leisure, her heart stopped twice and she died, but they brought her back. She just got out of the hospital. Her heart and lungs are real bad. Pray that she'll get better. Sharon went to the ER overnight uh, this past Tuesday. She was feeling bad. Uh, they said that she has pneumonia. Pray that she'll get better uh, real soon. Uh, Amy's boyfriend's uncle is in the hospital. Next week he's having major surgery. His arteries are clogged. Pray everything will go well. And Connie's dog Cooper passed away Thursday, 721. Uh, she's very upset. Pray for comfort for her. Our scripture of the day comes from Joshua 22, 21 through 27. Then Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh replied to the heads of the clans of Israel, The Mighty One, God the Lord, the Mighty One, God the Lord, He knows, and let Israel know. If this has been in rebellion or dis obedience to the Lord do not spare us this day if we have built our own altar to turn away from the Lord and to offer burnt offerings and grain offerings or to sacrifice fellowship offerings on it may the Lord himself call us to account no we did it for fear that some day your des descendants might say to ours what do you have to do with the Lord the God of Israel the Lord has made the Jordan a uh, boundary line between you, you Reubenites and Gadites. You have no share in the Lord, for so your descendants might cause ours to stop fearing the Lord. That is why we said, let us get ready to build an altar, but not for burnt offerings or sacrifices. On the contrary, it is to be a witness between us and you and the generations that follow that we will worship the Lord at his sanctuary with our burnt offerings, sacrifices, and fellowship offerings. Then in the future, your descendants will not be able to say to ours, you have no share in the Lord. Okay. All right. Our uh, devotion today is entitled, God Knows. A couple who stopped to admire a large abstract painting noticed open paint cans and brushes underneath it. Assuming it was a work in progress that anyone could help create, they stroked in some color and left. The artist, though, had purposely left the supplies there as a part of the finished works display. After reviewing video footage of the incident, the gallery acknowledged a misunderstanding and didn't press charges. The Israelites who lived east of the Jordan created a misunderstanding when they built a massive altar next to the river. The western tribes viewed this as a rebellion against God. Everyone knew the tabernacle was the only God-approved place for worship. Tensions mounted until the eastern tribes explained that they only meant to make a replica of God's altar. They wanted their descendants to see it and recognize their spiritual and ancestral connection with the rest of Israel. They exclaimed, the mighty one God, the Lord, he knows. Thankfully, the others listened. They saw what was going on, praised God, and returned home. Because God searches every heart and understands every desire and every thought, everyone's motives are clear to him. If we ask him to help us sort out confusing situations, he may give us the chance to explain ourselves or the grace we need to forgive offenses. 
we can turn to him when we're striving for unity with others. What kind of value do you place on unity with others? Why is it vital for us to lovingly disagree with fellow believers at times? God, help me to be an attentive listener and humble speaker. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on the prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great morning, and I'd love to see you later on on Morning Coffee Break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.